It looks brand new. Brand new. Welcome to Film My Run. Welcome to another Trail Shoe review. Today we're reviewing the Hoka One One Evo Speed Goats. So full disclosure, look, I am not paid by or sponsored by Hoka. They did send me these shoes for review, but that is it. I have no obligation to be nice about these shoes. The problem is Hoka are the only company who are sending me trail shoes to review. If another company wants to send me some trail shoes, I'd quite happily review them. I promise I will review them. Just, you know, nobody else is sending me shoes. So Hoka send me them, I review them. Simple as that. The other issue is I really do like Hoka's. They are my go-to trail shoe. They're the shoes that I wear more than any other brand of shoe when I'm running on the trails. Prior to this shoe, you might have worn the Speed Goat 3s or the Evo Mafate trail shoes. Uh, then came these shoes, and we've just recently had released the Speed Goat 4s. So it goes Speed Goat 3s, Speed Goat 4s, and these kind of sit in the middle as a, like a younger, cooler brother. Uh, before we go any further, if you're new here and you'd like to see more, please do click that subscribe button. You know what to do. So let's start with how they look. As far as I can tell, this is it. There's no other design. Same for men and women, no other colours. They look great though, but if you don't like black and a kind of yellowy green colour, then you're going to be disappointed. The Go Faster stripes though, come on. I mean, really, they look awesome. On the bottom, the sole is the same as the Speed Goat 3. So it is a Vibram Mega Grip sole with five millimetre multi-directional lugs. And like the Speed Goat 3s, they can handle pretty much every terrain you throw at them. I've done 200 miles in this shoe over some of the most demanding terrain in the UK. Ben Nevis in Scotland, Helvellyn in the Lake District, the Southwest Coast Path in Dorset and the Guernsey Cliffs have all had a go at these lugs and they haven't ripped, they haven't torn, they have worn a little bit, but what do you expect? They have managed pretty well as far as I'm concerned. The midsole. The midsole has the same cushioning foam as the Speed Goat 3s. There is a 32mm heel and a 4mm drop between the heel and the toes. There are no surprises here. This is the main reason people buy Hoka's. The cushioning is top notch. If you like the feel of the ground beneath your feet, then go and buy some Innovates because these are like running on pillows. They will cushion you and you will not feel the ground beneath your feet. That's not to say you don't feel supported. You can be on tarmac, you can be on soft grass, you can be on chalk, you can be on volcanic rock and you can be sure that you will feel supported and comfortable in these shoes with this cushioning. The upper is where it starts to get a little bit funky and different from the Speed Goat 3s. This is where the change is. It's called a matrix upper and it's basically a Kevlar mesh which makes it highly resistant to tearing. Believe it or not, it's the same material that's used in bulletproof vests. There's also this lycra bit here at the front, uh, which will help mould to your toes a little bit better. Speaking of toes, the toe box here is slightly wider than the Speedgoat 3s. Certainly slightly wider in general than Hoka's. A lot of people complain, or certainly some people complain, that Hoka's are slightly narrow in the toe box. So this should appease those folk. I have read some reviews suggesting that these might not drain water quite as well as some people might like. That's not been my experience at all. I've not, I've not really been looking out for it, I have to say, uh, but I would have noticed it and I, I certainly haven't noticed an issue with drainage. The laces are also slightly stretchier and the tongue is slightly thinner than the Speedgoat 3s. Uh, this makes for a secure but comfortable lock. You may remember I didn't particularly like the very thin tongue of the Evo Mafates when I reviewed those. Uh, this is a decent compromise and also allows for that, just that little bit of extra weight saving. And boy, is there a weight saving. Seriously, the Evo Speed Goats come in at 263 grams, that's 9.3 ounces, compared to the Speed Goat 3s, which are 292 grams, 10.3 ounces. And you can feel it. This is a long distance, all day trail shoe, but they are almost as light as the Hoka Torrents, which are a short distance, fast racing trail shoe. 
If there's one thing that makes the Evo Speedgoat stand out above everything else, it is its ability to be as comfortable over long distance as the Speedgoat 3, but yet as light and as fast over short distances that you would happily wear it in a 10k trail race. In terms of durability, if you didn't know that these had done 200 miles, I have washed them for you, but if you didn't know they'd done 200 miles, I might be able to convince you that these were brand new. Considering what they've been through, there's virtually not a mark on them. There's no tearing of the upper at all. There's no obvious signs of wear on the top. Even Look, even the blue text here is perfectly undamaged. Okay, there is some wear on the lugs, but really? I mean, just some wear, not, nothing torn off, nothing broken. The only thing that you might say is that this bit here where the outsole is glued to the upper is possibly coming away a little bit. Look, you can see for yourself, go and look at my Strava, go and look at my videos of the last few races I've done where I am wearing these. You'll see what they've had to cope with and look at them, look at them. Honestly, could you argue that they don't look almost new? If there is one big negative, it is price. These are 150 UK pounds, 160 or so US dollars. That is a lot of money to find for something that you're going to wear on your feet. You're running on trails which quite often can be quite dangerous and you risk injury. Are you going to take a risk and buy a trail shoe that's a lot less expensive and compromise on durability, quality, comfort and stability? It's up to you. And that's it for my review of the Hoka One One Evo Speed Goats. Top marks if you're prepared to pay for them. Please, if you enjoyed this review, do go and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you didn't like it, give it the thumbs down. It's all good. No problem. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you for another Film My Run review next time. Bye bye.